what's going on everyone? It's me, your man, Alex the Rambler, and today we're only back on Hearts of Iron 4. And uh, what are we doing today, I hear you say? Well, hi Matt. <laughs> it's time to play a nation that I don't think I've ever made a video on before, which is surprising. I think there probably are nations that I have never covered. I should probably look through the channel and find all of the others and start playing every nation I've ever played. Almost my own form of A to Z. Hey, I took the disaster saves idea off of someone, so I might as well just take the A to Z too. <laughs> 5,000 likes for more hoy. Thank you. Oh, hi everyone. Just a little brief announcement here. Today's video is actually sponsored by me. I've got some new merch launching and they're available right now. Bam! Now you can get your very own little chonker pins. They're in two designs. You have the all-seeing chonk, and then you have the chonk bearer. <laughs> There's a hundred each of these available, so they're, they're fairly limited edition, as were the art cards last year that sold out before I could get one, so that at least, I, at least I've got these ones this year. Uh, so I guess technically there's 99 available of each now. So if you click on the link in the description, that'll take you to the store page where you could potentially buy these. I believe the retail price in sterling is uh, £9.99, pence, so around a tenner. Uh, I guess that's around like 12 USD with exchange fees and all of that jazz. Not including shipping. It would be honestly be amazing if, 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 if you would like to join the Cult of the Chonk if you're not already by grabbing a couple of Chonka pins. They've come out really nicely. They're really nice kind of enamel pins. They're also fairly large for a little pin as well. Uh, there you can see like the back there. I'm so pleased with how these have come out. I try not to do merch too often. So when, when they do, I, I try and make sure they're as good as possible. Uh, working with the Yogs cast on this was an absolute pleasure. And the artist also, you know, is amazing at, at, at what they do. Uh, so thank you very much for making this happen. And please do click on the link and support the channel. It'll, be, it'll mean a lot to me and the Chonkers. Wow. Uh, I don't think I've ever played as Latvia. We have a democratic opposition and we also have p Perkin crusts. And it's been two years since the May coup and Latvia remains in an uncertain state. And I just want to see if they're as OP as someone like Lithuania or Estonia. Historical AI? Why not? Three research slots. Here we go. Electronic mechanical engineering, basic machine tools. Then we go bam. Construction. Uh, we've got democratic opposition, and that's bad. That's one chonker of a focus tree. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Giggity. I could restore the workers' republic. Hmm. I feel like if I had suspended the constitution of Latvia, there might be better. The wrath of the god. Oh, I might go pagan. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even realize there was like a pagan tree. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go pagan. Uh, so we have 11 factories to begin with. That's a nice amount of civilian factories. Like, no manpower, but whatever. Uh, unassigned divisions. Of course, we have like 10 divisions, none of whom are equipped. But we've got a couple of choices for field marshals. I'm going to go for the more balanced one. Might as well have a ranger, as there's full of forest tiles here. Yeah, nice. You know what? Sometimes I actually seem to do think, unlike most Hearts of Iron players, like Tommy... <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, no, 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 no. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oops, wrong screen. Shots fired! Shots fired! We suspended the constitution. We will empower the paramilitarists. <laughs> or maybe I should connect up and do the railway first. Oh, look at that. Modernize our industry. Oh, that's that's actually pretty, pretty pog. <laughs> pog, pog, pog. Yeah, I'm going to modernize the industry first. I think that getting that amount of civilian factories, that's that's pretty good. Ah, I do quite like just seeing the little trains go chugga chug chug. Oh, uh, what? Oh, okay. No, we have a bit more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, you just get 5% each time, but we kind of, I think we're going fascist, aren't we? So it's Latvia for Latvians. Urr. We do not exist to appease the Germans or Russians. I am going to recruit fanatics. Yes. I'm going to integrate the opposition and then do equality campaigns because I'm not wanting to go fascist or at least I don't want a civil war in order to go fascist. Uh, anti common turn packs. Um, yeah, go on then. Oh my god. What kind of weird artillery division is this? Me no likey. Artillery only Latvia. I, I that wasn't that wasn't going to be the the, the 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 plan. Might end up going down that route though. 
out of necessity. 17 factories, though. I'm liking it. Okay, the bans on the perk and crusts are lifted. Then we'll do Latvian military complex. So it's a bit of a balance for Latvia, I guess. Again, this is my first time playing. You know, who, 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 who's been playing this for six years? I have. Ooh, engineer companies. So I figure we're going to have to be on the defensive for a little bit at least. We could do the old ways. Here we go. They do not pledge themselves to Christ and his teachings, but instead swear oaths to other gods. Far older. The ancient gods. Macabre. And unnatural. We're going pagan. I will buy good Swedish steel. Good quality. Well-made Swedish steel. Okay, we'll do the Thunder Rules alone. We have no need of assistance from foreigners. Latvia is more than capable of defending her independence, but only under the guidance of the Perkoncrusts. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Let's switch over these. Don't have any manpower, but that's okay. Then I'm going to add in some support artillery. So I'm switching out that weird artillery division. The Thunder Rules alone. Here we go. We're Thunder Cross Latvia. Oh, led by Gustavs Clemens. I'm going to free the Ungencrusts. And then probably do uh, a United Baltic Empire. Yeah, I'll probably try and do the lightning strikes. We have two submarines. We all live in a yellow submarine. Ch -ch, a yellow submarine. Ch -ch, a yellow submarine. And then we do the lightning strikes. Our neighbours are weak and easily exploited. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gobble, gobble. Feeling pretty strong. Feeling pretty strong as Thundercross. Oh, so you have chosen death. Come at me, bro. I wonder. Yes, I'm more than a match for them. Wow, yeah, I'm crushing them. We are strong! Well, we can't take their navy. I guess I'll just take their nation. You may destroy them when ready. I can't believe I haven't played as them before. I, s I must have played as Latvia. I don't know, but either way, they seem freaking strong. I'm having a fun time in the Baltics, said no one ever. I don't know, that's just a bad joke. I've never been. I would actually quite love to go to the Baltics. We took 367 casualties against their 17,000. That's pretty tasty. Wow. A united Baltic Empire. The, the idea of a single Baltic state is something of an outlandish concept. It cannot be denied that our brotherhood extends beyond mere borders and everything becomes a core and will become the Baltic unary, unary state. Yes. Give it all to me. Stop sabotaging the buildings. It will all be okay when you're a core. I've waited 70 days and now you're just a core. So that works, right? Yeah. At the moment, there's resistance. Not anymore. We're now the Baltic unitary state. What is that flag, man? Oh, that's nice. The Baltic wall, the east wall. Do you know what? While it would be nice to actually go down and renew ally trade, I may do that. Oh, God. There's so many, uh, there's so many cool little focuses for these little nations. I'm having a lovely time, but we're going to seek Axis investments. That way gives me extra steel. Oh, wow, there's a lot of steel there. Hey, look at that. We're a major nation. We've got 50 factories. We are bussing. I'm going to have the best armed forces that you ever did see. And I won't be backing down to someone like Stalin. It won't matter if they take Eastern Poland. I'll fight them and I'll win. I do need more manpower, though. Like, well, I don't have a... Why is there... Why are there no people in this bloody nation? We've got to pump up their numbers. Give me the German tanks. I have so much equipment. I just need to be able to change to extensive. Let's wait until we get some PP. I mean, I might as well just have as many factories as I can get at this point, right? Look at all the surplus of stuff we've got. If only I had the um, divisions. Oh, I'm gonna de definitely going to put in some anti-air. Okay, we've got the tank licenses. Thank you very much. What about the Latvian autobahn? Whoa! That is a lot of... Uh, infrastructure that you get there try and protect all of our new factories from getting bombed and we can build a medium tank sa sashi <laughs> sashi 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 a chassis that's that's the one and it only takes steel to produce medium tanks really it has a main arm it has a close support gun so it's it's a soft attack medium tank okay well better than nothing i guess soviets are influencing our politics how dare they yeah dicks Look at this brave armed forces. We are ready to tackle anything the Soviets can throw at us. I'm going to complete the East Wall. Yes, we will fortify our East. This is 
pretty nice. The fact that I'm getting medium tank divisions. But just the fact that the Germans gave me a license for medium tanks. I'm very happy with that. Do I want more anti-air? Would I like more piercing? Of course I would. There we go. Motorized anti-air? Go on then. I'm really going ham on the anti-air because I, I think anti-air is really, really uh, quite effective. Oh, they've taken Warsaw. Poland's capitulated, so they have. Probably going to have to expand the line up here as well, aren't I? Can they attack over Tartu? No, so they so they can't just go through to Tartu, right? No, they can't. Germany didn't even get Memel. No. Or mine. <laughs> Would they even let me join them? No, they don't want me in. They have strategic reasons not to ally with me. Rude. But there we go, 1939 and France is already falling. So, you know what? You can resupply. What? Okay, this is going to be pain early on. I'm going to sacrifice this nation, though, to protect my flank. I can't- I won't be able to hold them off across this whole area. Eh, I'm well equipped. They don't really have anything to threaten me with. You have nothing. Nothing to threaten me with. Well, Germany's closing in on Paris. Italy has actually taken a bit of North Africa. Let's do this. Good Latvian pagans are beginning to grow more and more militant around our cause. Good, yes, paganism! I can't believe we actually have tank brigades. Anti-Bolshevik, yes. Always ready, always vigilant. They will have to take it by force. I refuse their offer. Go f*** yourself. We will never back down into the night. We will never surrender! Recognize the Forest Brothers, yes! Right, so I guess we'll now see how we fare against Soviet forces while also getting a few more divisions training. A couple more divisions training. The 12 fighters are more than enough to hold back the Soviet Air Force. Let's see how many we're gonna- look, look how many they're losing to anti-air. Anti-air is key as the- uh, as, a, as a minor nation when you don't have an air force. Oh, that's another 13 gone. That's another 13 gone. Rigid cohesion. Here we go. They declared war on Finland too. Let them come. Oh crap, am I losing a tile? Then the tanks up to reinforce. There we go. A thousand defense on that tile, baby. That's what we're talking about. There we go. Two tank divisions. What are you going to do now? <laughs> State paganism. Here we go. Increase the division organization once again. They'll fight and die for the old gods. Paganism is here to stay. We've lost 15. They've lost 100,000. Like, it's, it's looking pretty tasty. Christ, that's a large naval invasion. Why did they walk away from the... Oh... Okay. Quite annoyed that that just happened. So, balance cohesion means that they just go wherever they want. Anti-tank would have helped. No. At this stage, having anti-air to counter their um, their tanks is fine. I've caused 1,200 light tank casualties. Like, it's, it's, not, it's definitely not uh, a question of anti-tank. This is fine. They're trying to survive. I'm going to try and relieve them now that the line appears to be a bit stable. I don't think they're going to live. Uh, hold, little fella. Save the heroes of Talon. The heroes of Talon must survive. No, they reinforced. Damn. Okay, boys. We're going to try and get you out of there. Get out. Get them out of there. Get those heroes out of here. Now they're into the forests, though. They won't like it in the forests. Especially if we do Wrath of the Old Gods. Increase our recovery recovery rate. Another 10%. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> oh, God. How close am I to capitulating? Very close. If we lose any other major city, we've had it. How are the Latvian heroes doing? They're almost back. They might make it. The heroes, the heroes, the Latvian heroes, they survived! Some of them at least. Some of them made it. Oh wow, they've taken 11,000 casualties and they have zero honours for that. Ouch. But the Brigadier, he's being promoted. There we go. He gets promoted to general. Just how much more do they want to throw at this? They've lost 500 planes to AA. Mobile defense increased ten defense by 10% once again. This has turned into such a slog, hasn't it? Oh god, our defenses are just... How much more can we take? I'm praying for winter. I wish I could have joined the Germans. I maybe should have focused on that and done the Baltic Wall. I regret not doing that now. We're still getting 600, a uh, thousand defense on these tiles. Our entrenchment's good. If we have time to entrench in our tiles now, I think we're going to do okay. With the extra 30% entrenchment we're going to be getting from our commander now. If I'd have had that from the beginning, I think this would have been a lot smoother. That's an error on my part. Oh, your naval invasion, you utter pillock. They have lost 680 planes to AA since starting this. 
Man, they've lost almost a million troops. This is awful. Do we still have any pilots in the air? We still have six brave pilots. No aces, though. How many troops have we lost? 136,000. Our armed forces are a shell of what they once were. But we've uh, taken out 70,000 equipment, including almost 4,000 light tanks since they declared war on us. Maybe that was just this year, actually. There we go. So that's an extra 25% soft attack in the support companies. The Baltic Wall just completed. So do we have... We have a naval... We have a coastal fort now. Yeah, that's that's going to be key to holding that. So I have all of the bonuses that we can get. So I may as well just arm our nation. Although equipment for me isn't really much of a problem. I just need bodies. How many do we have coming in every month? Oh gosh, only 225 pop every month. Improved anti-air. Fantastico. Improved anti-air upgrades. Let's go. Yo, it's anti-air time. How many have they lost now? 754. Very nice. We're now in March 41, so we may get some help from Germany. Please help me. I'm dying. These divisions up here have just been beaten to an inch of their life. Another naval invasion. Oh my god. Give it a rest, man. You, uh... Want to help a bro out? I've taken down over a million Soviets by myself. I mean, the equipment losses alone is pretty astounding, isn't it? And this is the past 12 months. Oh, good lord. Extra recon companies, Fandabi Dozy. Let's just go ahead and increase the engineer companies once again. Oh, we're saved. Never thought I'd have to say, you know, you never, you never really like to admit that when it's the Soviets coming in, do you? Can I join them? They still don't want me to join. We have a war that they might be join, drawn into is the reason behind that, even though it's the same bloody nation. Paradox. Oh, there we go. Asked to join faction. I won't be joining their war, though. I take it back. Paradox. I love you. Yes. Reclaim my land for me. German reinforcements pouring in. Yes. My manpower's back. Now we push. The offense. Civ. Begins. Oh my god, don't overload me so much. No. Why are you sending so many troops in? I, I won't be able to support all, the, all their supply, you fools. Oh, you morons. You absolute <laughs> idiots. Reclaim our land. Look at that. Half a million manpower. Yes, the pagans will it. Glory to Odin. Odinson and Thor and <laughs> you, Germany, still. But you, 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 I'm alive. I'm getting all the land, too. <laughs> Oh, encirclements. Yes, let them all die. Seize Leningrad. Yes! Oh, I'm thick. I'm a thick, chonky, chonky boy. Oh, doesn't that put a smile on your face? I don't think they'll be doing naval invasions anymore. <laughs> Lead the attack. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you doing anything? Push to Moscow. Yes! Moscow by Christmas, ladies and gents. What a stark contrast to the year before when we were on the back foot. We were almost capitulated. And now, look at me! I don't think we're making it by Christmas. We're on the outskirts of Moscow. That'll, that, that'll, 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 that'll do, I guess. Oh, crap. We're encircled outside of Moscow. Oh, oh no. It went... It, oh, that... that oh, oh, oh. We're, we're pausing the advance. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm not launching any more Christmas offensive. Maybe one final push to Moscow. We'll reduce our front line, concentrate, and thrust our little penis forward into Moscow. The Christmas offensive. Penis! <laughs> That's it! There we go! Penis! Attack! You attacked every direction except forward. Oh my god. Oh no, we got like six days to take Moscow. I don't think it's happening. <gasps> it's open. Oh, they're moving too slow. No. Nearly. We tried. The generals have already been sacked. What do you mean we didn't achieve your over optimistic uh, calculations? Okay, we pause the, the, the assault again. Oh, God. They put the Romanians on my flank. The advance to Moscow is paused while we uh, solve the situation in the north. They've left. What? Uh? We might still get to Moscow by Easter, actually. The thaw is happening, and with it, Moscow. They tried to launch a counteroffensive from Moscow. They failed, and now it will be mine. Oh, yeah. Moscow has been taken. I think the Soviets must be close to collapse. They haven't taken Stalingrad yet. Why are they able to launch a success? They took back Moscow. I'm going to move my army down south and uh, 
oh, they're death stacking to destroy my game. That's the only logical conclusion for why they did that. Are you going to move? Because the AI just died now. Yeah. They didn't have supply. <laughs> so they were, they were stuck. <laughs> they couldn't move. Help me, step country. I'm stuck. Yeah, really. That's accurate. Okay, when are you launching your summer offensives, Germany? You may want to try and work at taking the supply depot in the RL region. I, I don't know. There we go. Nice pocket there. Nice pocket there, Germany. Nice pocket. I'm lacking 32,000 guns. Oh, I don't have any steel. That would be why. Can't we just sort of encircle Moscow? Kind of cut their supply for the rest of their armed forces. Oh, they don't have enough to cover their area. Okay, they've... <sighs> How can they keep going at this point? Uh, they declared war on Vichy. Hmm, not ideal. Oh god, the invasion of Sicily is a pain in the ass. I wish I could just take control of this f***ing AI! Like, it, uh, okay, I'm redoing these again. I'm gonna win this front for them. I'm pushing up to Stalingrad. Uh, take, take it. It's yours. Advancing German spearheads. That really is a significant development, considering that's false information. How far have we pushed from Moscow? Oh, they've pushed quite far from Moscow since I decided to leave that front to them. So that's nice. I need to get past the Urals. Yeah, before the... Oh, we're on a time limit. We're on a time limit before this implodes. Oh, the Soviets are a beast to try and capitulate, aren't they? Ah. Huh. Well, Italy doing... Italy things. Their mainland is invaded, but they're like, hey guys, what if we just go and try and take Jerusalem? Any takers? Italy sort of forgot about the invasion in southern Italy. This is just, this is, this is written by the writers of Game of Thrones right now. Do they even have any divisions left? Where are their division? Oh, they've got penal battalions. Still got a long ass way to go, haven't we? Where did they suddenly get more divisions from? Where, I tell you? Where? How do they still have that many? We're almost to the Urals over here, I guess. Where is like the... Ah, oh, there we go. There's a one. Chelyablinsk. Well, they've held that. They didn't hold that, though. I think they just got absolutely dogpiled on down there. But Italy still holding against the Allies in Feb 1943. Oh, oh God, don't, don't, don't let this all collapse. How do they have more troops? I'm so done. The Soviets are just insane to try and defeat on this nowadays, aren't they? Go on, Italy. Do it. Make your dreams come true. I think I'm, what I'm dreaming for now is this to end. Commence. Final attack. 1943. That'll be the year that we finally get those Soviet scum. I've lost half a million doing this, but it'll be worth it. Every step I take. Every move I make. It screws you more and makes me stronger. Please die now. Come on, Italy. Keep holding. Hold! We're on 69 factories. Who who called it? Who thought that would happen? So they have no supply. I presume that's because... Yeah. I mean, this is a large uh, contingent of remaining Soviets down here. Looks like they're pushing in. Oh, yeah. They've pushed through the Urals. It's over. It's done. Is Italy still alive? Yes. Oh, no. D-Day's happening. Just kidding. No, it's not. Because Germany is... Really quite powerful at the moment. Wow. I gave them a lot of help here, though. Oh, the death stack of Coast Guard. That's what they needed. Oh! Yes. First, I'll take their navy. Oh, I don't want... Never mind. Do you know what? Fine. I'm okay with that. Where's my navy? Yeah, boy! <laughs> Oh, our one sub actually survived the whole game. Look at me now. And on that note, that's it for that playthrough. Whew. If you've enjoyed, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more soon. Ta-da. Many thanks to the cult leader tiers, Onion Duck, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Jack Troku, and D Till. And many thanks to the Patreon champions, Ian Clark, Haigu, Kim Eric Coulson. We also have... Maximilian Foreman, Wire Green, Ontario is just okay, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, Marco Janovic, Vash, and Rick Baller. Thank you.